you know, we just turn on our explosive spotter. And now we'll just clean up the whole map. This is really, this is the easiest way to clean up your entire map. All your creations that are free floating are just going to, look at this. And even the parts, as they explode, they just, they just free float together and form this magical. Can we, are we done? Can we, oh, everyone over there? Okay, let's bring the pile this way. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and I know it has been a while since the last video but we're finally back and today we're coming back with a bang. After the last stream where we made that ball chasing unicycle AI thing, I thought it would be really really cool to take a look at some of the other things that Minis Mod has because there's just a ton of other blocks and mainly using this block here which is actually you can see by this lovely little symbol, it's actually a point gravity block. And using that, I figured we would make a black hole cannon, which is this awesome piece of military tech right here. So this is a sweet new addition to the Con Gaming Arsenal. Of course, we're just mass producing all the great stuff to conquer the farm bots with. And this is a black hole generating cannon. So you can line this thing up, you can fire it, you can create black holes, and you can, of course, adjust the power level of the black hole as well as the range of the black hole. So we'll take a look at how that works in a bit, but first we're just gonna show you guys how to tune the settings. So we've got, you know, these two buttons here on the one side, those are tick buttons, and these two on the other, and you can see we've got two numbers here which just come out of the back, these two logic blocks here. So the top is the power level of the gravity well, and we can actually adjust that by clicking on these two buttons here on this side if we want to. And currently it's set to a factor of 10. Now the bottom number here is the range, which is actually the range which you're going to use to generate black holes off the front of the cannon. But the thing is, there's two modes to this cannon. So actually we should probably put a seat down just to make it a little easier to control. And uh, we can use both the two modes. We've got a yellow button here and a white button here. So we'll just hook the yellow button in as number one and the white button in as number two. Now the yellow button creates a gravity well based on a point and sort of click system. So it has a 1000 block range and you can't change that. It's just stuck at a thousand block. And off the front of that yellow, if it sees something, it'll actually, you know, create a black hole on the surface of the object it sees. Now, I don't think we're going to see anything here. So it's probably not going to actually do anything. So of course, what we can do then is just put a wall in front of the cannon and just kind of aim at the wall. You can, of course, mount this to a turret and have it aim at the ground or at someone's vehicle, which just makes hilarious results. Uh, but if we aim it at the wall, you can see we press that two button and actually our vehicle got in the way, but it's creating the gravity well there. And now it's actually spawning the gravity well onto that plate. Uh, but you can see it's actually sucking all the objects towards that wall. And that's, of course, by pressing the number one button. Now the number two button creates a gravity well just a hundred blocks off of the gravity cannon. It doesn't matter if it sees an object or not, it'll just create the gravity well there and create the black hole, which is super useful if you want to create black holes up in midair, because obviously the sensor version of it is not going to see anything to create the black hole. So we'll just disconnect this wall completely. And now if we create the black hole with the number two button, uh, you know, it's a hundred blocks away, but we can actually just adjust that. So let's just crank this up to 200 blocks away now. And you can see if we uh, we do it, everything's just going to sort of move over there. Now, it attracts everything on the entire map, which, you know, Mini originally didn't create it this way. Mini created the mod with you this activator block, and you had to use the activator block. And I told him, Mini, you got to make it just attract everything on the map. And originally he said, you know, he doesn't want to troll people and all that. But I mean, you know, I think this is just great. But of course, this isn't nearly as fun as if you put it on a turret. So we've got the same setup here on a turret. I believe this is set to 110. And uh, if we press 2, now you can see we, we can just generate black holes in midair and just sort of... You know, it's actually really convenient. If you want to clean up the map, just mount this onto like a spaceship and fly around. And of course, the weight of this doesn't matter. Now, the warning I will tell you is you can see this platform is attached to the ground. You want to really do that because uh, it'll attract itself. There's no, there's no sort of code that stops the black hole gun from attracting itself towards the black hole, just like everything else on the map. So of course, I think the best thing you could do is uh, just take the explosive spotter and it's really, really convenient if you wanna clean up your map. I was doing this earlier. There was a lot of, you know, spare parts all over the place. We'll just hook that into the seat there. And so if we press five and turn on that, oh, that's the ball. I don't, I don't want the ball. Right, there we go, perfect. Now we've got an explosive. So of course, uh, we've got this permanent ball on the map, but now we could just, you know, press two and just create a black hole. You know, we'll just create it more up in the air there. It's a little bit, it's a little bit close. You know, we might have to adjust the range on this thing. Let's let's just adjust the range of this thing real quick. Now, I didn't actually hook up the number inputs, uh, but we'll just do that really quickly with these mod pack number blocks. It's really easy to do. 
we just lay out some numbers. We probably don't need five digits for each. We'll just go to four and we'll just hook the top one into the top and the bottom one into the bottom and then of course paint them appropriately and uh, we should be good to go. All right, so red for the second digit, pink for the third digit and purple for the fourth digit. So we've got 10 and 100. Uh, so let's just crank this up. I think this should be 200 now, 210. You know, let's go to like 300. And again, this is only for that number two function where we create the black hole at a distance away from the object. Now, of course, the black hole's strength is proportional to how far away the object is. So objects that are further away are not attracted as much. And then, of course, uh, this is only a strength of 10. Well, you know, let's just jack that up to 20 real quick. So now we've got a strength of 20. And uh, you can see everything moves a lot quicker towards it. And then, of course, you know, we just turn on our explosive spotter. And now we'll just clean up the whole map. This is really, it's the easiest way to clean up your entire map. All your creations that are free-floating are just going to, look at this. And even the parts, as they explode, they just, they just free-float together and form this magical. Can we, are we done? Can we, oh, everyone over there? Okay, let's bring the pile this way. All right, perfect. Everyone this way. This is, oh boy. No, we got to, we got to sweep up. Sweep up the tra- Oh, God. Okay, okay. Every no, this way? No, that- Okay. I mean, it's great. Hold on. Let's just- uh, Okay. Uh, all right. All right. No, let's say we got another black hole gun. We need to clean that up. Uh, you know what? We'll just put another couple there. Uh, you know, what if we got one of these things? I don't know. We're just gonna spawn whatever's on my lift here. Eddie, can I spawn this? I'm missing mods. What about this? We're not- We're not- I'm missing that. So you've got all this junk on the map that people just- You know what? Train. Why not? A really terribly built train. Uh, what is this? The derp car. Perfect. You know, so you've got a, ma a map full of your creations and you just want to clean it up. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Alright, so we've recreated the turret. I think the problem that time is I pressed 1, which of course attracts everything to, the, you know, the point that you're looking at. And the kind of the issue with that is, you can see if we aim it right at an object and press 1, it attracts the object to itself, and then, of course, you know, I think it updates the ray cast as it's... So it just, it gets, it, it gets really bad, and I think we brought all the explosives. So anyways, let's just get everything over there. You got a map full of scraps, and then, of course, just turn on that explosive spotter. Uh, this seems a little bit weak, actually. Hold on, this is only power level, this is only power level 10. We gotta jack that up. All right, there we go. Power level 20, and perfect, hold 2, and look at that. Amazing. Now we'll just clean up the whole map. And, uh, of course, we'll just move it from left to right. I love watching the debris field fly. I think it's absolutely awesome. You could do, like, a tornado effect, almost. It's really too bad you can't animate the black hole itself where the actual, like, point is affecting it. But you can see there's obviously a point there in space where uh, everything's just attracted to that one spot. And then, of course, they're orbiting around it. You could do orbits with this stuff, too. Oh, boy. Let's just keep the explosives away from the turret, all right? Let's just over there. Everybody, and okay, everybody go back this way. Okay, this is... Uh, we get the train. I want that train to blow up more. No, no. I'm gonna come back this way. Of course, just holding two, and you can keep moving the turret around, and the black hole just kind of keeps moving with it. And then, of course, we press one, it would just aim the black hole at whatever object it sees. Now, aiming up in the air, if we press one, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna spot some of that debris, and if it doesn't, I don't think it'll spot anything. So let's just turn off the explosives, and we press one. Yeah, it doesn't, it, it attracts them all right back to the turret. The cool thing I will say about Mini's mod is he does stuff a lot differently than the mod pack. So everything he does is based on vector math, which is really, really cool. Basically like drawing a bunch of arrows all over the place where you want to go and where you want to position stuff. And it is interactable with the mod pack number stuff. So you can see we've got the mod pack number logic and the mod pack WSAD seat converters and all that to run this sort of simple turret here. But it's all compatible, but the vector stuff is really, really powerful and really allows you to do some cool stuff, especially because, you know, you can interact it with point gravity just like this. So, you know what? Let's just jack this up to... Okay. Is it... Okay, we're good. Let's just take this thing, though, and uh, let's just increase the power by, like, 100. It's like it's 120. And now everything moves. Oh, boy. So, it's... Is it pulling the turret? It's so powerful. Look at the dwarf. It does I don't think the black hole gun affects dwarves, to be perfectly honest. Like, if I get out here, uh, I don't think it has any effect. If I it, See, if I press this, it doesn't. But it's so powerful, it pulls the turret. Oh, my goodness. So, of course, Minis Mod does have a lot of different vector stuff. There's a lot more video ideas I want to do just based on the stuff he does. But for those of you who are curious about how the black hole gun works, I will just show you right here on this model. And actually, we'll just kind of rip the side paneling off here because we don't really need that. 
And I will upload this to the workshop. I'll upload the turret version of it over there without the explosive spawner, of course. But I'll just upload that so you guys can play around with it, have it on a turret. And of course, make sure you weld your turrets to the ground. If you do want to mount it on a vehicle, uh, it's, it's a really bad idea. I mean, we'll do it on this. We'll just mount it to the top of the Humvee so you can see what happens if we turn it on. But it will drag your vehicle towards it. And then, of course, keep updating the position of where it wants to drag your vehicle. So it just becomes an absolute nightmare. But you can see it doesn't take a lot of logic to make this black hole gun happen. And it's really, really cool how it works. So it's mainly using this point gravity block and then, of course, using a few of these vector blocks. So on the front here, we've got the forward pointing vector. Now, this is a block that behaves pretty much just like a sensor. And so it creates a line straight in front of it. And whenever that line hits an object within a thousand blocks, it'll output the position of where it hit to this, which will in turn attract everything to that point. So really simple stuff on that end. And on the bottom one, it's the same thing, but for the second function. And that of course is this sort of vector position here. So really it takes the current position of the gun and it says, okay, well, how much is a hundred blocks or 200 blocks or whatever off from the front of the gun and in turn create a vector point over there in that position and then apply the gravity using this point gravity thing. So I didn't use the same gravity block. I used two different ones. I probably could have done it with the same one, but I figured just to make my life easier. And then of course, just a little bit of number logic to control the power levels and the range. So of course, for one last test, we'll just weld this on top of a vehicle. But of course, let me know in the comments down below what kind of other things you'd like to see with Minis Mod. I have a ton of ideas. Like we've been doing basically different homing missiles and all sorts of tracking player things and AI stuff on this channel for a long time. And Minis Mod just allows for a bunch of different ways to do it. And I think it'll allow for some unique ways to do some kind of funny stuff but let me know of course what you guys think in the comments down below i'm really excited about this gravity and there's more than just this point gravity there are other ways to manipulate gravity as well he's got tractor beams he's got the manipulator we've of course used that before the accelerator the burster block he's got this linear gravity generator which i think is really cool to kind of you know manipulate gravity in a specific direction and then of course the point gravity generator and a circular gravity generator which i think is for orbit so really cool stuff a little bit different from just you know making the map completely lighter or not but uh we'll take our humvee here and we'll hook it up to switch number one is the point sensor direction one we don't need that we're gonna hook it up to the white switch only and that'll be number three on the seat and that'll just basically create a gravity field with a strength of 10 100 blocks in front of this which of course is going to attract the vehicle itself um, I don't, should we increase, I guess the strength of 10, we kind of deleted all the buttons. So, you know what, let's just find, so I'm just going to hold three now and we're just going to keep moving forward. Uh, and we're going to keep accelerating. Now, the thing is the, the problem really becomes when you hit bumps, you see, cause right now it's not too bad, but let's see if we can get it lined up here. So here we go. If we can just point it up and then, and no, not enough there. There we go. Now, see, now it's like the Harry Potter car. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay, can't do it. I think we need a little bit more gravity power. I think 10 is not nearly strong enough because we're always at 100 block range from the field, right? So a strength of 10 gravity field is fine, but the gravity field gets stronger as you move closer and closer towards it. So let's just actually increase the gravity field strength. So we'll go from 10 to 20, 30, 40, 50. Now we have a strength field of 50. Uh, this should be a lot better if we hit 3. You can see we accelerate much quicker now and of course all the debris comes with us and now if we aim up if we, if we can aim up can i even get this thing to aim up we'll definitely here we go there we go now we're harry potter for sure and we can kind of use the gyroscopic force of the wheels to fly a little bit uh so we'll just do a loop around here yeah we'll just hit the wall uh and then can we just can we no i want to uh-oh uh-oh uh we need a turn can we the turning is not Okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. We'll go back this way. I don't know where... Where's the start of the map? No. No. Okay. So again, like I said, don't mount a black hole generator on your vehicle. Make sure you weld it to the ground. And of course, if you are going to troll your friends, make sure you spawn a lot of explosives first to really... You know, you're going to get one chance at this. So don't screw it up. Don't show them the black hole generator. I mean, you're going to have to convince them to, you know load minis mods so they might kind of clue in as to what you're doing at that point but you can see just some crazy stuff we could do by constantly generating black holes in front of our vehicle and of course if we had that animation it would be so cool let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what other kind of creations do you think we could build with this vector stuff there's a lot of cool things that i'm thinking of and i'm excited to show you guys but of course i'd love to hear what you guys think and while you're at it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time all right we gotta destroy the evidence we gotta just destroy all the evidence.